What is going on everybody? Stabs here. Welcome back to another one video. Today we're actually going to be doing a review on the K55 Corsair keyboard, uh, gaming keyboard if that's what you guys are interested in. Now I'm going to try and make this as simple and quick as possible as a review because I know you guys could go watch other 8 and 9 minute videos um, that are full complete reviews but you know let's just try and see how quick I, I could actually get this done and show you guys what you guys actually want. Now for start off I'm actually going to show you guys the original box it comes in. You guys can see right here the K55 RGB gaming keyboard and um, I'm just going to read some of the things that apparently it does have. So you guys are going to see multiple R RGB black, black lighting modes and immersive effects, dedicated volume and media controls and six macro keys programmable on the fly so which is all that I'm gonna show you guys and on the back it just shows a bunch of stuff so you guys can see basically every single button that it shows you guys can't see it from the camera but I'm gonna show you in a little bit um, you have the window key lock the detachable wrist rest six macro keys and the three zones dynamic to any type of colors you guys want to do so I'm actually gonna show you guys the keyboard right now so here you guys have the Corsair K55 keyboard. It is not mechanical, which is a little bit of disappointment, but for the price of this, which is actually $50, I actually got it for six because I got a really fast shipping. But um, for that price, you are gonna expect a few things, as in the keys. I will do a sound test for you guys. But overall, the keyboard, uh, you have a metallic finish up top and then a plastic all around. You have four rubber feet on the back to help it from slipping, and then the most important part is the lights. Um, RGB lights all around. Now, for the most important part, you guys are probably here for, I'm going to show you how to change the function and the lighting of the background. So, as you can see here, you actually have a function key. You're going to hold it down, and you're going to go to one. That's going to show you the first zone. So, you have zone one, zone two, and zone three. You go to function two, function three function 4, function 5, and function 6, you have all of these zone colors that you could show and change. Now, another thing you can do is hold f down function and press F1, and you're going to change the color of zone 1. Function 2 changes the color of fun uh, zone 2, so you can make that any type of color. I'll just make that white right now, and then you keep holding down function, you go to function uh, F3, and you can change the color of the zone 3. So let me just make that blue for red, white, and blue. So you guys have it right there. Let's go back to the function key. You can hold down 7 and it just turns off all the lights. Function 8 is a solid color of every single RGB. So you could keep pressing down function 8 and it's going to cycle through all the colors for a solid color that's not going to change until you want it to change. There's blue, yellow, turquoise, purple, and a orange type of yellow and then you got white and then you can go back to red next is function 9 which basically breathes through all of the colors you're going to see here it goes in the same exact order as it does with function 8 I believe or function 7 and uh, it just cycles through all the colors like this and uh, I don't think you can actually cycle through the colors any order that you want function 0 is doing this like um, subtle changing effect through every single one of the colors once again and uh, it has the whole background just fading into a different color function minus is going to do the fading of the zones now the cool thing about this is I actually realized before while this is fading in you can go ahead and just change in the color so now everything but that zone is going to stay fading so you guys can see these colors over here are going to keep fading in and out and that color is going to stay the same. So you can also do it for the other side. So say I want to keep this red and then make the other side red. You're going to have these two here. And then this is going to be uh, functioning through all the other colors, which is really, really cool. Function equals is the coolest part, in my opinion. This is where you guys get the rainbow. And uh, the biggest selling point probably for this computer, or not computer, for this keyboard. So that is it for the keys. I'll show you guys up top. We have the uh, macro key over here on the side. We have the brightness, which I actually haven't touched, but you guys can see I do just keep it on the the brightest one. Uh, Windows lock key is right there. You have three uh, media volumes. You have the mute volume down and volume up. The keyboard does also come with detachable wrist rest, which is kind of this like softer type of plastic. Which does just connect to the bottom over here. If I can just show you guys really quick. You see you have these two nubs on both sides. 
you just go ahead and just clamp that into place and it is attached so I actually do keep that on it does help a lot with your wrist say if I'm playing CSGO or something like that so there you guys have it for the K55 review it does have membrane switches I'm not sure if I actually remember to say that in the video but uh, you know for $50 50 to $60 maybe even 40 if you do catch it on sale you can't go wrong with a keyboard like this you know uh, there are some upsides you know obviously the build quality it's all plastic but uh, you can't really find a keyboard with these lights and I guess the switches aren't too bad they're not really too loud uh, which I'm actually going to show you guys so there you guys have it for the K55 review if you guys are interested in the same exact keyboard I will put the links of the Corsair website so if you guys want to purchase it from there or the Amazon website um, both links will be in the description below. If you guys did enjoy this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like. Do not forget to subscribe for more future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.